Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out a 14.6 volt LiPo 4 battery charger from Ardroid. This is a 30 amp version, so let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. Alright, when you first get your charger, here's what you should expect. Right on top we're going to have our AC cord right here. Uh, and we have a couple of very good sized alligator clamps. I mean, these are these are full size battery clamps. I mean, they're they're not kidding around. And it comes with a uh, looks like probably a 50 amp uh, Anderson connector. Uh, we also have our uh, smart charger remote along with a card for after sales. We have our 30 amp charger right here with a cord that looks like it's about 36 inches and it actually is pretty flexible which is nice and then we also have an anderson connector going to some uh ring terminals right here all right so let's go ahead and check out this battery charger on the front it does say that the model is the ad 1230 that stands for a 12 volt 30 amp uh, the ac input type for the united states is going to be 120 volts uh, it does say that the 12 volt battery type is either terrary lithium or lithium iron phosphate. And that's the chemistry that we're going to be using for this charger. Uh, it does say DC output red black 14.6 volts at 30 amps. And then it shows the LED indicator and that says power on the green light is just on. If it's charging the red light is flashing and if it's a full charge then the green light is on again. So it's either going to be a green light on or it's going to be a red light flashing. And then there's a few warnings and stuff like that on this right hand side. Okay, on this side here is where you plug in your AC cord. There is a 110 to 220 volt switch right below that. And then the off on switch is below that. We also have our fan right here. This thing is made out of all aluminum to be able to absorb the heat. Um, it does come with wall mount brackets, uh, two slots on each side, so you can mount this to a wall. And then on this side is the DC cord and your indicator light right here. All right, the AC cord is very self-explanatory. You just plug it into the side of the unit, and that's ready to go to be plugged into your wall outlet. And when it comes to the Anderson connector, they can only be connected in one way, which is kind of nice. So if you try to do it like this, they just won't fit. But if you turn it around, it slides in just like that and clips into place. And what's nice about this is it actually has these two little grippers right here. So it's easy to pull apart, which is really nice. So now it's clipped on and our alligator clips are ready to go. All right, for this demonstration, we're gonna go ahead and try to charge up this 12.8 volt, 165 amp hour Red Odeo battery. Now, a couple of other things about this R-Droid is it, since, since it's a lithium iron phosphate specific charger, it does have that ability to be able to wake up your BMS if it has shut off due to complete discharge. So it has a zero volt uh, charging feature. All right, so let's go ahead and plug it in. All right, when you plug it in, you can see that the light is a solid red and now it goes to a solid green. Go ahead and connect our negative and then our positive. And instantly it starts charging. All right, if we look at the Red Audio app, you can see that the current is actually right between 27.8 amps and 28.1 amps. So the app is not really showing that it's charging at a full 30 amps. So let me go ahead and connect my amp clamp and see what it says. All right, and my amp clamp does show 29.46 amps. So that is about as close to 30 amps as I am betting it's ever gonna get. And this battery charger does have like a smart charging cycle. So at the beginning of the charge, if it's a very dead battery, uh, it's only going to charge at like 20 amps and then it will rise itself up to the 30 amps and then once the battery is almost full it will lower itself down to 10 amps 
until it gets to 14.6 volts. All right, and this thing is running, like I said before, at like 29 and a half amps. And if you look at our sound meter, um, it's only right around 42 decibels from about a foot away. All right, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about the 14.6 volt, 30 amp lithium iron phosphate charger from Ardroid, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll have a link to this item in my description along with everything else I used. Again, thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye. Goodbye.